Well, uh, good Friday afternoon to you, Backyard Brian here, and I'm really excited. I'm not by myself today. <laughs> I've got my lovely wife, Victoria, with me, and uh, we're going to talk about some things that we've been doing here at Bear Creek. And, you know, our Bear Creek, at Bear Creek, our why is building community and building relationships. And, you know, one of the ways we do that is we build people. And last week, I talked a little bit about um, how we build as a community, but today I want to talk a little bit about how we build as a team. And, you know, maybe this kind of resonates with you. Maybe it's something that you'd want to be a part of, or maybe this is something that you want to incorporate into what you do with your team and your workplace. And hopefully this can help you. Be glad to talk with you further about this if it would help uh, help you build the community right where you're placed as well. But Victoria, why don't you take a minute and kind of share with us what you've been working on. Yeah, so um, like Brian said, we're about building community out in the community, helping our clients do that as well for themselves. But we also talk a lot about building community with our team, um, helping them grow personally and professionally. Um, two of our sayings that are up on our wall is that the first thing, we build things, but more importantly, we strive to build people. And uh, we choose to intentionally grow to make room for others. We want our team, we want them to grow individually together as a team because when they grow and they move to greater levels of responsibility, it makes room for more people to come in and join our team. So we're excited about that, but the reality is um, we have to be very intentional about that. You know, we can say it all day long, but if we don't put anything framework around it, it's hard to, you know, really make that an intentional thing. So. One of the things that we're doing, one of the things that I'm building out for our, our company is called Bear Creek U. Um, and it is basically a framework that allows somebody who, when they come in the very first day to work for us, that they have a track to run on. So that's everything from their paperwork to learning about our mission and vision to our culture um, to some skill training. Maybe they don't have a particular skill set and they need to learn how to run a particular part of the equipment so they can go into the shop, be trained by somebody so that when they get out on the field, they are ready to go. Um, and so it also grows them as well. Um, so I'm excited because we're working with a guy named Jeff McManus. Um, he is the landscape director at Old Miss University, but he wrote a book called Growing Weeders into Leaders. Great title. Uh, I stole this book from Victoria <laughs> when she got it and devoured it on the way home Dead. from the beach last summer. And so, uh, yeah. anyway, then I was just like, I kept asking, I was like, does this guy help people? Does this guy help businesses? Because like, he's working in the same kind of industry as us. So yeah. I'm, I'm really excited. We and just that's what we loved about it this morning. So yeah, yeah. We were just on a phone call with him this morning, but that's what we love about it is that because so much of what he does in his landscape, the industry of landscaping is very similar to our industry. Mm -hmm. And so it just resonated with us. And it's just, it was simple concepts, things that was just going to be easy to kind of implement, uh, but take some work too. So that's kind of what we've been working on the last couple of weeks uh, with Jeff, uh, with our team here, with our leadership team, writing out all the things that, you know, our guys need to know, you know, when they're coming in and that sort of thing. And so, um, you know, that's it's on my plate to kind of get that content down, those classes done and that sort of thing. Um, but just excited about what this will mean for our team because we want to see them grow personally, professionally, um, because when they do, it helps them just to excel to new levels. And um, that's what we want. We want to grow people. So, yeah. One of the things we're really excited about this is in our industry in construction, there's a lot of need out there. There's a lot of people that need construction services. And if you've ever tried to get something done around the house, you know that it can be very difficult because there's a shortage of skilled tradespeople to do this work. Mm -hmm. And we also know that there are a lot of people out there that need those good jobs. Mm -hmm. And so what we're trying to do is, through the work that Victoria's doing, the rest of our team, is create this way to bridge the gap between the services that people need and a lack of skills mm -hmm. that someone may have. And, and if we can teach those skills, it can be life transforming for them and their families because um, they can earn a lot more money than they would have otherwise. They've got a skill that's valuable for them. And they're able to serve our community and our clients by creating amazing spaces that bring families together when maybe, you know, just a year before mm -hmm. they didn't even know how to read a tape measure and now they're helping build someone's amazing back sp backyard space. And so we're really excited about it. Um, we're in the beginning stages of it. We're kind of learning. We'll give you updates along the way. We certainly do not have this all figured out, but, um, but we're excited that Jeff is helping us and we're kind of working along the way. So 
Hopefully, maybe this uh, inspires you in your Friday afternoon <laughs> for the work that you're called to do in the community that you're a part of. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're, we're excited to kind of wrap up our week this way. And um, hopefully, you have a great weekend with you and your family. Um, just want to give a shout out to all our friends and family. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> I think we're going to spend Friday evening at the Heritage on Main and Wayne Street. Uh, at Waynesboro. So if anyone else is coming down there, say hi. I'm not sure if there's music tonight. Last time we went, Jimmy O turned it into a conga line, <laughs> which was really cool in downtown Waynesboro. But anyway, but if you see us in there this evening, say hi, and uh, and we'll uh, we'll be getting our dinner in there a little bit later this evening. But yeah. hope everyone has a great weekend with your uh, with your family. Yeah. See you later, guys. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.